Welcome to Contact Monkey Academy. Today's topic will be discussing comparing an individual campaign to an overall campaign. What I mean by individual and overall is the two different types of trackings that you'll see within Contact Monkey, and they will show on your sidebar for you to choose how you would like to track that email. So once you've sent out an email with individual tracking, this is going to be linked to a specific recipient's email. So it's gonna show you granular data such as who has opened the email, and who has clicked on the link. Whereas we have our overall send and this will tell you how many people have opened it and how many people have clicked on that link. There are a few benefits to sending specifically individual and overall. I'll speak on the individual first. So when you do send with an individual tracking, you're able to get all that granular data, but because you are sending it out individually as you are sending out to specific email addresses, it will take over, it will take a few seconds to send out per recipient. So say if you're sending to about 2000 recipients, it can take up to about an hour. That's something you wanna be mindful if you are sending an urgent message that you would like the whole company to receive at the same time, you may wanna choose an overall sending for that specific email. The reason being is if you are sending overall, it is, sent as one whole email to everyone and will go out at the same time. The way we're tracking with that one is it will be linked to the device. So as we go through the back end in the metrics that I'll walk you through, I'll show you the main differences when it comes to sending. For sending with individual, I'll pop down to a specific campaign sent out by Contact Monkey and just go over the differences. So it's going to show you a data overview of how many recipients that this newsletter was sent out to and the unique opens. So the unique opens refers to that first initial open made by that specific email address and same with the unique clicks. So as you can see, it was sent to 2,450 recipients, about 1,811 have opened it and then there was 13,063 unique clicks. As we scroll down here, we do have a breakdown of opens and clicks that I can walk you through as well. So like mentioned, the unique clicks will refer to that first, in, first initial open made by the recipient. And then your multiple opens will be any other additional opens. So for example, if I were to open the email about three times, my multiple open will reflect one, and then my three opens will actually be reflected in our total opens. That's where you'll see all your total opens reflected for every single open made on that email. And then your unopens as well. So the people who haven't engaged with the email. When we do pop over to clicks for unique clicks, same situation as opens, it's that first initial click made on that link and multiple opens will be reflected as one. If there were more than one, the total clicks will be their the total opens of that link when it comes to um, how many people have clicked on all the links. As we are scrolling down here, you'll notice that our most engaged recipients will be something that really stands out when you are sending your individual tracking. So you'll be able to see individually all the people that reacted to or opened the email. You'll notice it shows you the amount of opens and clicks. It just shows us our top five on the first initial page. But as we click into view all, we will be able to see all the recipients and additional data as well. So you'll notice here as this loads, you'll be able to see how many opens, clicks, the last time that the, the email was opened, and the location and email client. If we wanted to get even more granular, the benefits of sending individual are when you click on that specific recipient's email address, we'll be able to see the timestamps of all the activity made in this specific email. So as we have gone through our individual send, I will take you through what it means or the differences of sending overall. So we'll pop back over to our campaigns page to choose a different newsletter to walk you through the differences when it comes to sending overall. So like I mentioned, you'll notice here that it'll show you basically about 95% of the same data that you are receiving when you're sending with Contact Monkey but it will be linked to the device rather than that specific email address. So you'll notice here that we've sent it out to 2,490 recipients and then 18,018 people have opened the email, but 
to give you more detail as to how this is tracked is, for example, if I were to open it both on my desktop and my mobile, I will have two unique devices open specifically for me. And that may happen throughout with other individuals that are opening it on different devices as well. And then the unique device clicks. So again, referring to that device, if I were to click on something, say on my phone, as opposed to my desktop, um, we will see two for me as an individual. As we scroll down, the breakdown of our opens and clicks follows. So we have our unique opens. Those will be linked to the device again. Our multiple opens, for example, like in the individual send that I've chatted about, if I were to open it, say three times, that will be marked as the one. And then my three opens will be reflected in our total opens. Same scenario with our clicks. And then as I scroll down, you may want um, remember from our initial campaign we were going through that it was showing us specific email addresses, but now we are just seeing timestamps, location, and email client. So that's the main difference you're going to see as well. You can also click into view all to see those but um, you're unable to see those specific email addresses when you're sending overall. You may be wondering how you're able to choose between individual and overall when it comes to sending a specific email out. And I'll pop into my Outlook and show you exactly how that works. So we will be clicking new email as we are starting an email with Contact Monkey by choosing the icon in the top ribbon. Once done, we'll be able to drop down our tracking options. You'll notice it's showing me that I'm currently tracking individual. And then we have the option to choose whether we'd like to send overall or individual. After sending with this specific tracking chosen, it will remain your default unless you've changed it. And now that we are ready to send, we'll be able to see those analytics depending on which tracking option we have chosen. If there are any questions or you would like more details, feel free to reach out to your CSM to give you more specifics on the different analytics you'll be receiving with the two trackings. Thanks so much. Hope you have a great day.